Today we're gonna to show you how to fix a dead 12 volt. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. So a little known secret about my car here, ever since I got it about two and a half years ago, my 12 volt right under the radio has actually never worked. And we've been so preoccupied with mods that we never fixed it. So today, we're gonna take 15 seconds and show you how to fix it. Now the 12 volt that we're going to show you how to change today is the one that's located right up here next to the change compartment. Now I've heard that this is extremely common to go out, so that's why we wanted to make the video. Some people say if you drop change or whatnot in the actual 12 volt that it can, it can pop the fuse. Um, but I haven't really used it, to be honest with you. We need it to do a, a mod that you're gonna see very soon. Um, but as you can see, when I plug my night vision in over here, it just takes a couple seconds and then this will power up. So really, I think this is a, a much more convenient location if you have this rather than this one. Um, but just to show you that it doesn't work, we're just gonna plug that in. And as you can see, absolutely nothing happens. But the good thing is this takes about 15 seconds or so to fix. So let's pop under the hood and I'll show you which fuse to change and then we'll be good to go. Now the fuse box that we're going to be working with today is located up here on the passenger side, driver's side if you're in the UK. And what you need to do is just take a 10 millimeter, you're going to twist these nuts counterclockwise, just about 90 degrees. Then you release the tab over here and this entire piece will slide out like so. So over here we can see the fuse box and as you can see, there are these little icons that say push here. So basically what you need to do, press there and there, press there and there, and then this entire piece will come out. Now the fuse that we're going to be changing today is the third one from the top. And as you can see, it is a 20 amp. Um, now I have a little tester here. You don't really need to test it because we know it's bad, but if you're ever unsure, you wanna do any testing, all you need to do is get one of these little testers. We paid 10 bucks for it and it came with extra fuses too. And if you press down on the little contact points there, it's going to light up. And this one should light up as well. And if we're correct that it's the fuse, this one will not light up. All right, and as you can see, it did not light up. All right, and so when we pull this out, if you look at it, if we can hit the light right, you can see that the, the middle portion of this fuse is completely fried. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our new 20 amp fuse, line it up, press that in place, and let's go test out night vision and see if our 12 volt works now. All right, so moment of truth. Plug it in. As you can see, we have a little LED indicator light and boom, look at that. After two and a half years, my 12 volt is fixed. <laughs> and as you saw with the right tools, it literally takes about 15 seconds. It takes longer to open up the hood than it does to actually change the fuse. But now we have that fuse and we can continue with our next mod, which you guys will be really excited about. So once again, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you need a new fuse, a fuse puller or a fuse checker, we're gonna have some links for you down in the description. If you haven't done so already, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.